So the last herb on my hip parade is, I think, the unsung hero of the herb garden, parsley. I love it. So I'm making pasta with pecorino and pepper and parsley. Say that fast. I'm going to start with two tablespoons of chopped parsley. Because parsley is a major ingredient in this recipe, I'm using flat leaf parsley. It really has more flavor, sort of that crisp, bitter flavor that you're looking for. I actually want to see the parsley in the dish, so you don't want it too finely chopped. Okay, now the pasta. So it's eight ounces of tagliarelli. I figure about four ounces per person. It takes just three minutes to cook. I need two teaspoons of pepper. Actually, I want them really, really coarse. I want sort of fine bits and coarse bits, so you really bite into the peppercorns. And I'm putting it in a mortar and pestle, which allows you to sort of grind them by hand. I know it sounds crazy, but it's really good. So you want sort of big pieces and little pieces all ground up, just like that. Fantastic. Ooh, it already smells peppery. Next, two cups of tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. I'm using these little grape tomatoes. They're really sweet. Whatever's good in the market. The next major ingredient is pecorino. This has a very sharp, sort of Parmesan-like flavor. I need about a cup total of grated pecorino. OK, I think the pasta's ready. First thing I'm going to do is take a cup and just take out some of the pasta water so that if the pasta is a little too thick, I can always add that back in. Perfect pasta. OK, you don't want it completely dry. You want a little moisture in it. OK, I'm going to bring it back right on the pot. I'm going to mix the sauce right in the pot. OK, now, need two tablespoons of cream, one tablespoon of butter, just toss it all together. OK, now all the ingredients go in. Two cups of tomatoes makes it a fuller dish, rather than just pasta. Then the parsley. How fast is this? And then the pecorino, which has that sort of bite of Parmesan, not nearly as expensive. About a half a cup. Two teaspoons of pepper crushed. That's going to give it so much flavor. And season it with salt. And it's gotten a little dry, so I'm going to add some of the cooking water to it. Just toss it all together. OK, that's done. Now I just have to take its beauty shot. Big bowl, lots of pasta. Wow. How beautiful. So some tomatoes, some parsley. Fantastic. Big sprinkling of pecorino. A little bit of pepper. I think this would look good with a fork in it, like somebody's about to eat it. Take its picture, write everything up. Wow. Looks even better in the photograph. I have to make sure it's really good. So my recipe's good and everybody can make good pasta. One of the perks of the job. Oh, it's so good. You can really taste the pecorino and it's spicy with pepper. That's a good dinner.